guys, this is Linda. Welcome back to my training room. Sorry for the delay. I got, I managed to catch COVID. I'd avoided it since 2020, but it decided that it was my turn. So if I sound a little rough, that's why I, I'm doing much better getting over it, but um, still you can hear it in my voice sometimes. No? Yeah. So what I'm going to work on today, I thought, since I don't have a ton of energy, and this boy needs something done with him, um, I wanted to demonstrate something that a lot of people struggle with. One of the number one reasons I get uh, phone calls is my dog won't pay attention to me. My dog would rather chase a squirrel, play with other dogs, uh, play with kids in the park. Basically, your dog has learned to ignore you and that you are not the most funnest thing in the room. So when your dog is young, we need to start with exercises that habituate and teach your dog that you are the most important thing in the whole wide world that the sun rises and sets on you. The younger the dog is, the sooner you start this, the better it's going to be for your training down the road. It's called focus or engagement training. And we start very simply, like right now, this is why he's whining, because he knows I've got some delicious chicken in my hand, boiled chicken, and he wants it really bad. And if you look right now, he's keeping his eyes on my face. It's because we did this as a puppy. We really drilled this. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do this, and then I want you to practice it with your dogs. No matter the age of your dog, this is always a good thing to do. Again, it's called the focus game. I try to make it fun. And make sure that you start out with short durations because when they're babies or they're first learning this, they don't get it. And do it in a room like this. This is why you see a lot of me do, see me do a lot of stuff in my training room. When I'm introducing a new behavior, and for him this is not new, but this is a good place to film. But for you, do it in a quiet place to get the hang of it. Don't expect your dog to listen to you when there's a circus in town, right? Um, once you get it in a quiet place, then you start gradually going other places and slowly increasing the difficulty. Always test where you're at. And if you're struggling, take a step back, reset, and then move forward again, okay? So without further ado, the focus game. So first, you're going to have food in each hand. Um, by the way, if... This is a great game to do, especially with puppies, with their morning kibble or their evening kibble. Just have a little kibble in each hand, and then when they make that eye contact, you can feed them. But that's the key, eye contact. So, back here, feet. Good. I'm going to make sure so he's in camera. Good. Now notice he's not looking at the food, he's looking at my eyes. Good. Also notice, I'm really not, uh -uh. I'm really not asking him for anything. I'm letting him offer it. And when he offers really good eye contact, I mark it. In my case, I say, good, good. And I put the food up to my forehead so that the food is coming from my face, right? Because if I feed from the hand straight, he's going to learn to start looking down at the hand. And he, he does do that sometimes. So again, I'm waiting for him to look at my eyes. When he looks at my eyes, I mark it. And your marker word can be different, guys. Everyone's different. Some people say yes. Some people say good. 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 Now what's going to happen, see he's looking away. That was good. I'm glad he did that. He looked away for a second. So I just got still and I wait for him to reestablish eye contact. I don't beg him. I don't plead with him. He looked away. He got nothing for it. Have a leash on your dog so they don't wander off. And you can just step on the leash with your foot if you need to. Good. Now later on, you can name this. No, sir. Feeps. Uh-uh-uh. Feeps. Good. Did you see how I looked at my hands? I made sure he got nothing for that. Now, as time goes on, you can name this. Some people call it look, some people call it focus, some people call it eyes. I've been using eyes. Eyes. Good. Now, what you want to visualize, eyes. Good. What you want to understand, guys, 
is that no? Uh uh, deeps. Good. What you want to understand, guys, is is that when you take your see, he's looking away. There we go. Good boy. When he regains con eye contact, I make sure. Ah, 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 he's looking away. That's good. I'm glad he's doing this so you guys can see what it looks like when they're not perfect. Good. Now I make sure to capture that because he looked back, right? Good. Now see the intensity? He came right back on me. Good dog. Eyes. Good. Now what I want you guys to understand is when your dog is looking at you, no. Eyes. Good eyes. Good boy. Good. When your dog is looking at you, eyes. Good. When your dog is looking at you, he's not looking at a distraction. When he's not looking at a distraction, he's not paying attention to it. When he's looking at you, he is paying attention to what's going to come from you next. And down the road, what's going to come from you? Uh-uh. No, sir. Good. Eyes. Good. So we got to build duration. You know, he can go for about 15 seconds pretty good, and then he starts checking out. But we want to build up on that. Good. Good. Now notice, guys, I alternate right hand, left hand. Because what's going to happen if you always feed with the right or left, dog's going to figure that out. He's going to start staring at your hand that you feed from. So make sure that you always switch your hands up. Eyes. Good. Slowly but surely, ah, uh, deep, good, good boy, eyes, no, good, ah, uh, uh. no, good, no stealing. Now, if they lick like he's licking right now when they're baby puppies, let them lick, okay? M mind you, this dog is more advanced, so I'm going to let him do this for a second so you can see, but I don't let him get it. I keep the food in my hand, deep, he likes this chicken, it's really good. <laughs> Eyes, no, good eyes, good eyes, good, eyes, good, and I'm going to release him now because he's done good, all right, great, give me a spin, that's good, see, good, great, there you go, no, good boy. No, Mr. Ants in the Pants here. I haven't worked him very much the last few days because I've been pretty sick. So that's part of having a high energy uh, young German Shepherd, right? They, they need that exercise. They need that stimulation. So he's a little bit antsy. Not his fault. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there, guys. Just keep in mind that when you have a, a, a puppy especially or um, even an older dog, Teaching the dog to focus on you is the most important thing. If you can get your dog to pay attention to you, trust me, the rest of it falls into place so easily. So if you need help with this and you're local to Monroe, Loganville, uh, Grayson, any of the surrounding areas, Covington, Walnut Grove, any of those areas around me here around Monroe, Georgia, please give me a call, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. If you're not local, try to find a trainer that's going to work with you and teach you how to get your dog to focus on you, how to get your dog to pay attention to you, right? That's so important, isn't it, Riker? You're so cute. So with that, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. He's doing the cutest little head tilts. I love it. That's the German Shepherd thing. I love those head tilts. So you guys take care. Make sure you have some time for fun and training with your dog every day and work on building up that, that focus so that they'll listen to you no matter where you go. Y'all take care now. Bye.